women's soccer action. It was a wild and snowy one this afternoon between Albany and Vermont. The Catamounts making their first playoff appearance since the 2006 season, trying to avenge a regular season loss to the Danes, while Albany looking to get another crack at Hartford, a team they tied at Varsity Field just one week ago. Let's take a look at the highlights. Both teams going through a pregame handshake before this one got underway. Vermont gunning for its first ever America East Conference tourney win, while Albany looking to stay unbeaten for the seventh straight game. Tenth minute, Albany strikes first. Maggie Deverna plays the ball ahead to Katie Grant, who won Cork's one from just outside the 18 into the back of the net. Dane's lead, one to nothing. It would stay that way until the 71st minute. UVM free kick here. Mimi Eckenstein flicks the ball onto Ellie Mills, heads it in to tie the game at one. Rain and snow? No bother. And we head to overtime. UVM and the snow picked up the pace in the extra session. Eckenstein with a nice chance here, but Jackie Hubert makes the diving save to preserve the tie. Look at the snowfall. Blizzard in October. Alexa DeMeo takes a free kick into the flakes, and it's flicked wide of the goal. That opened the door for the Danes and speedster Shayla Bergeron. Look at her go, leaving trails of Catamount defenders in the snow. She'll take a final touch and blast a left-footed shot into the top of the goal. Albany escapes with a 2-1 win. Head coach Mary Frances Monroe gave Bergeron a little pep talk at the half. And finally I brought Shayla actually aside right before the half set and I said if you're going to go back in you better take every single player on. And that's what she did so good for her for finishing that chance. Yeah at that point I was just like well why not I'm just going to go forward and we just all went, came forward and we finished it and it probably was the best feeling I've ever had. We do have to look at Hartford first. They're our first our first hump that we have to get over. We just have to beat them and we're good. I think it's going to be a great game. We know um, it, it was a back and forth game the last time we played. They had some great chances. We had some great chances and I think that we just need to finish our opportunities and we'll be all right. The Great Danes win does push them into the semifinal round against the University of Hartford. That game is set for Sunday afternoon kickoff at 2 p.m. The winner of that matchup will take on the winner of the Boston University Binghamton game also happening on Sunday afternoon. For the America East Conference, I'm Pete Estes.